This podcast is intended to um, clarify your assessment task two. This is the first of your group group assessment tasks and it relates very specifically to the investigation that is at the core of this particular course. You'll be allocated to a team. Each team is responsible for developing solutions to problems that arise each week within our overall problem-based investigation. In your teams, you have to present your solutions or your recommendations in a collaboratively built website. This year, we're going to ask you to use Google Sites as your web building platform. So each week, one person will be given the lead responsibility for coordinating the work of their team. Each week, there'll be a different aspect of the investigation that you'll be asked to research and to develop recommendations about. It's those recommendations and the thinking that goes behind them that you need to share on your web page. In the next week, your group may well be asked to present your recommendations to the whole class. So every week, this is where we mean in a timely fashion, you need to be prepared to show and share what you have come up with in response to that week's problems. Here's the criteria that you're going to be judged on. Whether you have done this work in a timely fashion. Now, a qualification. Your completed, collaboratively built website is due on Sunday the 23rd of August. Yes, it is a Sunday. There's a particular reason for that that will become apparent during the semester. But it's really to make sure that you've got time after the final class to complete the website pages particularly that relate to the final aspect of the problem. I want to see evidence of your collaboration somewhere on your website. So each team is going to be asked to develop a team contract. You would upload that contract or make that contract one of the pages in your website. I also wouldn't mind seeing screenshots of the communication that shows how you've worked as a team. University students can sometimes have difficulty getting together in the same place at the same time. That's no excuse for not doing your collaborative work. There's always online electronic communications that can support you working together. You can use Facebook, you could use Google Hangouts, you could use Skype, you could use a whole range of tools that will support your collaboration. I want to see evidence of what you have been doing. You'll be judged on the creativity of the solutions to each problem. I want to see you using higher order thinking, questioning and analysis. This is not the sort of course where you regurgitate what we tell you. We wanting you to think for yourselves um, and to show us that thinking. We don't want you copying and pasting slabs of information from the internet and putting that on your website. We want you to analyse and synthesise the information, draw meaning from information you've garnered from multiple sources. Have evidence there that supports the sorts of recommendations that you're making. So we're going to look at the sort of evidence that you use. Where have you gone? What sort of authoritative um, sources have you used to inform the recommendations that you make? One criteria, and note it's only one of the criteria, relates to the appearance of the website. So down here, I make a little um, clarification of this. If you just have text and some images laid out in a fairly linear fashion, that's okay, you'll pass. You will have met the requirements for this task, this aspect of the assessment task. However, I have to acknowledge people who go above and beyond. 
So alternative modes of representing your knowledge and presenting your recommendations will secure you higher marks. Each week of the investigation, we make a recommendation about a type of technology tool that you might use to help you present what it is that you are recommending. So take note of those particular ICT applications um, and try and make use of those in your website. This is really important. You will be working in groups. You will be able to self-select the groups for the most part. However, there may be people in your group you've not worked with before. We spend quite a lot of time in this talk, in this course, talking about collaboration. Um, and over the years of being a teacher at university, it never ceases to amaze me how adults can be so childish about their collaborative work. So to get around that, if the team agrees and if there is evidence to support the case, then I'm quite happy that team members receive different marks dependent upon their level of effort and commitment to the work of the team. This is enshrined in the course guide. I am able to do it. So there's just a little heads up that, a little bit of a hint, I suppose, don't ride on the coattails of your team members. If you don't put in the work that you agree to put in to the responsibility and the assignments of the group, then you won't get the same mark as the group. There we go. I hope that clarifies things. There'll be more information available in class. Any questions, use the discussion forum. Good luck.